Oh, memang garam Kut betul, Boyan. Ya, yes. Dan untuk anda, nantikan dokumentari khas KL City FC yang akan menceritakan perjalanan tim KL sepanjang season ini dari mula sampailah habis. Dan uh, kita cerita pasal tim KL City ini. Sekarang ni Kita nak cerita saja. Yes, kita nak jumpa dua pelakon utama dokumentari oh. KL City FC ataupun dua player KL City FC untuk join kita kat sini untuk sembang. Yang rambut cantik tu eh. Yes, ini oh, rambut cantik dia. tu. So, okay. sekarang ni kita persilakan Daniel Ting dan juga Giancarlo Galifogo. Silakan. Come in, guys. Yeah. Hey. hey, how are you? Have a seat, have a seat. Have a seat, have a seat. <laughs> you can come a bit closer. Yeah, come. Yes. Yeah. How are you guys? Good? Good, good, good. How yes. was your raya? Yeah, really, really, really good. Did you really have like good. rendang or something like that? I was trying everything. I'm not going to lie. Wow. I, don't, I don't really know what I ordered most of the time. I just go to places and I say, you tell me what to eat. So, so do, you, do you like it? Uh, so Spicy far, I, food? I, I, I love it. My After maybe 30 minutes, I can't talk, but <laughs> it's I do really like it, yeah. Okay, okay. You know, how about you? Um, you know, coming back to Malaysia after a few years in, in Australia, your raya, you know, celebration and so on? Um, Obviously, we couldn't do too much. Yeah. Uh, I think I actually made Mexican food. So oh. not not traditional, <laughs> not traditional Malaysian. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was really nice, nice, um, quiet. Can't do much. Well, not too quiet actually. There was fireworks constantly. Yeah, so. that, yes. that, that's for sure. Because I think <laughs> you know a lot of people can't go back to their hometown and yeah. so on. But um, Gigi, we call you Gigi. Yeah. Yep. Um, you've been here um, for I think about a few months yep. already. So. How's Daniel treating you as a as a teammate? <laughs> it, it, has he been nice to you? No? Listen, if he wasn't here, um, no, he's been, very, <laughs> he's been very, very good. He's been very, very good. Um, he's been welcoming. To to be honest, everybody in the team has. I've been very, very lucky. Um, not only Daniel, who has been showed me around, been yeah. very, very welcoming, but um, Safi, Shukur, Ifan, everybody. As soon as I came in on my first day, they helped me. Uh, I'm always someone who wants to learn the culture and always wants to know what to do, where to go. And, and everybody's been welcoming. I get so excited when I learn a word. I learn <laughs> Satu Duatiga. I'll <laughs> say that every day, 400 times a day. So yeah, it's good. Uh, you're, you, uh, hey, you, you know the greeting, like you can, you can you know, just blurt out the greeting so confidently. Well, I, Selamat Pagi, I, I didn't realize it meant good morning. I thought it just was like an introduction. So <laughs> we would train at five o'clock and I'd say, Selamat pagi. And they're like, no, that's not, you're saying that, you're saying that at the wrong time. <laughs> it's like, okay. But the <laughs> level of confidence is very important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, Gigi, this is your first time uh, playing for Malaysian League. So before you come, what did you hear about the Malaysian Super League? Um, I heard that it was, uh, hard to play in because of the temperature. Mm -hmm. I knew that the, the humidity and stuff that was going to play a massive mm -hmm. factor. But I had two or three friends here that, that really, really loved it. Um, especially uh, my teammate from my last club, Andrew Naboot. He, um, he had such an incredible time here. Him and his wife loved it here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it was actually him who first said it to me. He said, you know, I think you would love this place. I think you would love this place. And it just, fortunately, everything just rolled. It's like he manifested it. And then the opportunity came and I said, Listen, you were right. I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but Daniel, for you, I mean, this is the first time Gigi's here playing in the league. You played for Negri before, you played for PKNS before, um, but then you went away, you know? Um, you, 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 you went to Australia. What made you um, come back, you know, um, and, and join KL? Yeah. Um, well, firstly, when I left, I always kind of had in the back of my mind that it wasn't the end. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I did see somewhere that Apparently I'd retired, which I don't know how that <laughs> came about. But um, yeah, I always thought eventually that I would I would want to play again. Um, and when I started to think about it, I spoke to some some friends here and stuff. And uh, when KL came up, and obviously um, the project that they put forward was was not oh we want you to come this year and this year we want to win the league. It was. We want you to come here and be here for a long time and develop the club slowly. You know, not not unrealistic targets. We've just come up from the second league, so to think that we're going to win the league this year, unrealistic. But maybe we can. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got, we've got a few more games to go. Yeah, we've got some games. That's good. Okay, um, Gigi, you did mention about the weather just now. Yes. So maybe it's one of the toughest things you've had to adapt uh, to in Malaysia. What else? Ooh, okay. Is it the people? No, the no, language? The pe no, pe people have been lovely. The language has been, yeah, it's, it's difficult, but I'm learning. <laughs> but I'm learning. How are you coping up? Uh, yeah, well, because I can speak English and Italian, mm -hmm. Whenever there's a Latin language, it's always pretty similar, you know, Spanish or Portuguese. I can, you okay. know, I can always. <laughs> where this sounds nothing like either of them, so it's been it's been difficult. But I feel bad for my teammates. But I ask all the time, say it again. Tell what does that mean? What does that mean? Or sometimes we're at the table and they all laugh, and I'm like, happy, like, sorry, bro. Can you explain <laughs> the joke? I don't, I don't know what just happened. But yeah, no, no, they've been good. But on the pitch, were there any problems in, the, in terms of you know communicating with you know uh, Irfan, for example, and no, the other teammates? It's it's good. Most of them have a good base English. That mm. the simple instructions are. Uh, they understand. Like I was telling you, sometimes yeah. I get a bit too passionate and I start saying Italian things. Yeah, you're and Italian. Yeah, you, yeah. It comes out and they're looking at me like, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Hen. Uh, but yeah, no, the, the basic stuff's good. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's actually been, it's been quite easy. Other than the, the heat, I start the game at 85 kilos and then come off and I'm 81 kilos oh, and good. I've dropped so much water weight, you know? So other than that, it's been quite easy. But what's your favourite Millie word so far? Oh, it's got to be Selamat Pagi. That's just, <laughs> just, be, just because that, that one was the most confident thing that I was telling everyone. I would fill up my petrol and I'd say it to the, someone, say it over here, say it over there, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. Pagi, Selamat Pagi. <laughs> that's good, that's good. But, but uh, that's, that's um, your case. And then Daniel, um, leaving Australia and coming back, like you said, the project was, was at first it was unrealistic, but it, it's, there's, you know, there's a weight to it, which you know, it will carry on for years, like you said. But when you... You know, when you're back here, what was the most, you know, uh, what do you miss the most, you know, from Aussie? Uh, what do I miss from Australia? Yeah. Um, hey, bud. <laughs> I've got everything I need from Australia right here, so I don't need to, there's nothing on this. No, um, I, I, would, I wouldn't say I, I missed Australia. To be honest, the, the moment I stepped out of quarantine uh, back into Malaysia, it was like I hadn't left. It was really, really strange. It was, I think, uh, my friend picked me up in my old car. So I'm <laughs> back in my old car, back in, back in KL, which is where I was before. So it was just so easy to, to come. It was like coming home. You just, I just, you just slipped straight back into it. No problems. And everyone, KL were really helpful. It helped obviously with having Gigi there and other <laughs> players. Um, and I think KL's not a, a, such an international city anyway, so it's not, if, if there's anything I miss, it's easy for me to go somewhere and find uh, food or, or anything that I need, so yeah, it's, it's uh, really And easy. you have, you know, a bit of Australian right there next yeah. to you. That's, that's, <laughs> that's good. And then, okay, um, we're going to go straight, you know, talking about the team and so yeah. on. Your coach Boyan is a character. That's what I think yeah. everyone in Malaysia knows how yeah. he is. Especially now, you, you're working with him. Yeah, for like sure. what we watched just now. He's yeah. very yes. and, <laughs> aggressive. Yes, he's, he's, he's a character where you can't predict where he is going. Yeah. So, if you can describe him in one word, one maybe kind he's word. Watching. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, Poach. You know, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I would say uh, passionate. Okay. That's a safe route to choose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Volatile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, uh, that, that's. I think that ties into passionate. Yeah. You, you know, I'm kind of the same. Yeah. As well. There's moments. Yeah. Was sure. it hard working with Boyan? He's a he's a winner. He he wants to win, and you know we we joke and we laugh and and me and Daniel were always down to to dance, laugh until we cross the line, and once we cross the line, then we're here to work, and he's the exact same. Um, and we love that. So you, you can scream at me as much as you want, as long as we're winning and we, you're heading me in the right direction, I don't mind. <laughs> great, That's great. Good. All right, guys, uh, since Arena is doing a documentary on your team, so what has it been like having a TV crew around the ground? It's like keeping up with the Kardashian, but keeping up with KL, yeah, yeah. City Boys. <laughs> yeah, so he's obviously Kim. I'm Chloe. Uh, no, oh my it's, God. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's strange. It's strange. It's strange sometimes, like, 
um, because these are things I'm so used to people not being able to see. You yeah, know? yeah, true. And uh, like, for example, it'll be before the game and the coach is motivating you and he's doing this big talk and you're sitting there and you're firing yourself up, yeah, and your legs are shaking, you're ready <laughs> to go, and then you just see like a little cameraman there, just like, <laughs> who, just watching Who, who will normally be there? Is it Hafiz or Asman? 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 Yeah, both. <laughs> it, it changes. To be honest, for me, I, they're, they're good at sort of sliding in without you noticing them. <laughs> and you just yeah. see them like, <laughs> yeah, they, they... You can't really be yourself, is it? Not that you can't be <laughs> yourself, but I, they they're, catch they're you so, being yourself. Yeah. 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 They're so good at, yeah. at sneaking in when you, you don't know they're there, that they catch things that maybe you didn't want people yeah. to see. Or... <laughs> okay, but, but apart from, you know, um, you know, having uh, TV crews around you and everything, one of the moments that you have to go through and like you said, them sneaking in, what's the best moment or the best match for you so far after, you know, 13 games, 12, 12 13 games? Gigi, for you, what was your best moment? I mean, in terms of the matches. <sighs> okay. Um, uh, it have to be a tie between the game against Parak okay. and uh, the draw against JDT. Mm. Uh, for me, uh, the game against Parak, obviously 3-0, perfect score, so happy. Um, that was a really good moment. But uh, against JDT, before even coming here, I knew it was Goliath yep. in this league. I knew it was a team with a massive budget. I knew it was a team that's won a lot of championships. Yep. And it was in the build up towards there, I was, I was firing myself up. You know, this is the best striker. This is me challenging the best striker. Then it's us challenging the best team. And then to come out of there and feel like we drew, but not only did we draw, we, we, we brought him to yep. the end, you know? And there was moments where we could have taken this. And, and that for me, I walked out and I thought, okay, I really feel like this club can battle with the best of them. And that was that was a great, great moment for me. How was it playing against uh, Buxton? Hard. <laughs> very, very, very hard. He takes 170% concentration all the time. Very, very talented footballer. But me and Ifan take pride in saying that top five goal scorers all haven't scored against us. So that's a little thing we message each other on Instagram all the time <laughs> about it. So I'm very, um, he was a great player, but I'm happy he didn't score. That's good. And, and Daniel, for you, your uh, best match so far? It, it would be obvious to say, say the goal. <laughs> and I think by the celebration <laughs> afterwards, people can tell I was happy with that. But um, I, it's going to sound a strange one because we lost, but uh, the Terengganu game for me, mm. we lost 1-0, but I, f I thought that was one of our best games. And like Gigi said, it just shown that Although we might not be uh, a big team in the league or we might not have the biggest names in Malaysia that we can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with big state teams, the teams that are at the top of the league or teams that have the biggest players in Malaysia. Um, so a, a weird, a strange feeling to, to lose and be happy. But yeah, for me, to, to see how well we can actually play and, and, and how well I thought we did that game. That was a big one. That was the, it was a good moment for you. It was the yeah. best moment yeah. for you. Um, but, you know, speaking about the goal, you, you said it's, <laughs> it's a different thing. So now we have three moments that we have prepared for you, especially having the help from uh, our boys that is doing the documentary, Azman and Hafiz. We're going to go through your goal first, you know, because I think there's a debate between the two of you. So we're going uh, to look at the goal first. If you can see the plasma over there. Uh, we're going to see the goal just shortly. So there we go. Paolo with the cross. <laughs> so what, what happened there? You know, talk us through. Let me explain to you. 99.9% .9 effort is made by me. <laughs> then 0.1% and all the celebration goes to Daniel. Which, listen, I'm happy. But no acknowledgement. He's running right past me. I have to chase him down. I'm just saying... Look at me chasing him. Watch, watch. Daniel. <laughs> so, so Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Yeah, you. Uh, you can't help how you feel in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, afterwards when I realise, you know, oh well, maybe I. I'm not going to say I stole the goal, but when I realised that perhaps 
It's just your dick. Gigi helped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was quite thankful after it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but yeah. I heard, but I heard uh, there's a banter between you guys. Who, I mean, because Gigi, you've been having a lot of chances, but you haven't scored. And, and Daniel, you told me that, you know, um, there's a banter after you scored. Gigi haven't scored yet. Yes. You know, there's a banter who's going to, you know, get yes. more goals. It's, it's, it started off because of one chance where I hit the crossbar and everyone said, oh, you should have scored. I said, yeah, no, don't worry, it will happen, it will happen. And then every single game I was getting chance after chance after chance and I just was, <laughs> keeper was saving, I was hitting the bars. And then I do this header, I think I've done it perfectly, keeper saves it, Daniel scores, runs off celebrating and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to score. <laughs> But finally, I think two games later, I scored. So right now, we're 1-1. One, one. Yeah, one, it's one. okay. Gigi, we also have something for you. Watch this first. <laughs> yeah, so Daniel was... Uh, it was Daniel's goal, so... I believe this is what we're talking about. <laughs> and differently, a different moment where you brought down the player. So fierce in the field. So what we... Okay, this happened. <laughs> there, there's a slight push. Okay, there was a slight push. I would say, what happened yeah. There, but what, what do you see to the ref? Oh, sorry, that's so hard to watch. <laughs> um, so the the that moment, it's yeah. unfortunately at that point we were just trying so hard yeah. to mm -hmm. trying so hard to keep on to the win, and it's sometimes I I want to do seven hundred things at once, yep. and I sprinted out and when the guy went past me I don't, he was already falling I don't even know why I put my mm -hmm. hand but I wanted to solve the problem so bad okay. you know and, and just out of reaction I went like that and as soon as I touched oh. him I put my hands back and then when I was turning to the ref I was saying oh he's falling before I've actually touched <laughs> him okay. and he said no but I, I saw you touch him I was like yeah but he, he was falling <laughs> first he was falling first I you know. obviously push him yeah, <laughs> yeah but I think uh, on the replay you can see he's, he's, lo he's losing his balance yeah. and then yeah I think out of the moment maybe you'd be like oh yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, you'd be like, oh, don't, don't fall. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, but but apart from that, you know, you said two games, you scored the goal, so one one each. But now, um, I think Daniel, one of you know, one of the things that you stand out more is, you know, I think people talk about your hair, and I even I heard, really like your hair. Yeah, she she oh, she's you. amazed <laughs> with your hair. But I heard that Boyan said, you know, asked you to cut your hair. Don't cut it. Yeah, we we've all seen Boyan's hair, so. <laughs> Of course, there's a little bit of jealousy there. And, and I told him when I do cut it, I'll donate some for him. But um, yeah, I can't. I can't cut my hair. You just, you just you love your hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and because you said yes, we have we have a clip or this moment of you just playing with your hair there Ooh. during training. Uh, Gigi, how much of time that he spend, you know, repairing his hair during training? Honestly, I think every every training session is no. at least at least five minutes late <laughs> because we have to wait for this. But it, it we we've built it into part of our game plan. So now when we when we're winning and we need to slow the game down, he I just I just yank his hair out and he just does this for the next fifteen minutes. He looks struggle to tie a bun. Are you okay with it? You know, tying a bun? Yeah, I it it's more so that. I it's use, a long time there. Yeah, I use four <laughs> hair ties during training and oh. games. Four hair ties. So. <laughs> still yeah. doing it, still doing it. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's definitely there's some method to the matter. It's took a long time to perfect, but I, know, I think <laughs> also that we're waiting. I think Bojan's probably talking, saying something, some <laughs> tactics. So I wait for the right. How moment. often do you go to the salon? Oh, never. 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 No. Natural. But yeah. this is your original hair. Original it's there, hair. Yeah. And never went this to the. It's actually short now. Before I came oh. back, it was maybe here. Wow. So it's a little bit more easy to manage right now than it, than it was. Maybe I can sit with you after the show to, you know, learn some hair routine without going to the saloon. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 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 For sure. <laughs>